Can you learn to be a professional coder, a developer, within 30 days? Let me be more precise. Can you start making money as a coder within 30 days of taking a coding course? Short answer is yes. It would be entry level though. You can't expect to be writing high-end professional code in 30 days. That takes more time. But definitely you can get out there and start making money as a developer if you put in the time and you got a good course. The key to learning, of course, is you learn your fundamentals quick and then you start building projects. But number one, learn fundamentals well. Number two, build little projects. Number three, get out there, do some work with real people. Real people, real projects. So if you're doing freelance work, easy to find. If you can't get a paid gig at first, then just do some free ones. Do a free one for a friend or a small business. Just tell them the truth. Say, yeah, we're building, you know, we're building, it. I'm learning my skills, but I know, what I'm, I know what I'm doing. I'm a beginner though, but I'll build it for free. And you just start working with them because working with a client, dealing with the client situations and getting parameters from them and executing on all that, that's part of a learning process rather than working on your own projects at home. Although that's a good start as well. So in terms of programming languages, you're not going to get this first job in 30 days with C++ or Java. You won't get it with Ruby. You won't get it with a lot of different languages out there. But where you will get it is in the web stack, of course. And that's HTML5, CSS3, a little bit of JavaScript, and probably PHP, just because so many small businesses work on PHP and WordPress. I know I talk about this in other vlogs, but this is something that has to be emphasized because WordPress is not considered sexy and PHP is not considered sexy, even though they really are powerful and have their places in the world. Believe it or not, they do. Here's the thing, though. The, the demand is there because there's so many small businesses that work off of WordPress. And if they work off of WordPress, that means they work off PHP. They probably use a PHP shopping cart-based system. And who knows what else they have. 